Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. So uh, in this new lecture, I'm going to show you how we can connect to the PPPoE server using the SAS4 Regis. So we already have configured a, an account and we call it SAS4 or test1. I don't remember what was the name of the username. But anyway, we have a username on the SAS4, which is uh, uh, configured there. So what I'm going to do now, I want to make uh, my Mycotech router to answer to the uh, PPPoE requests coming from uh, other customers to be able to authenticate them from the radio server from the sas4 radio server and to allow them to enter to the network and have internet so let's go directly and start with the lab so i'm going to go to my uh, sas4 um, using the username and password admin admin that i did not change them yet and over here what we can see remember uh, we have uh, over here the users that we have created so we have test1 and we have SAS4. So I'm going to use test1. Remember on uh, the Microtech router that is uh, working with the SAS4, which is this one. When I was uh, doing over here uh, on the radius server, if we go to radius, and uh, over here I said that uh, I want uh, that uh, it makes uh, authentication using the PPP, which means PPPoE is one of them, hotspot and login. So the hotspot is running. We made it in the previous uh, lab uh, a video about it and uh, we show it's working and also the login, also we check that. Now we want to check the PPPoE. So this is checked already. So meaning anyone trying to do PPPoE connection to the router, it will send the credential to the SAS4 to authenticate them. And then if it's allowed, then it will be able to be authenticated. So now we need to configure on this router the PPPoE server. So I'm going to configure the PPPoE server on the wireless interface directly. Meaning anyone who wants to connect to the PPPoE server on the wireless, he can connect. But also hotspot, it's on the wireless. So you can do both the hotspot and the, and the, and the, the PPPoE to be on the wireless interface. So let me show you how you can do that. You have to go to the uh, PPP. And uh, over here, we have to go to, first we go to the profile, and let's create a profile. So normally this is something like this. So now we create a profile over here. Um, we can use the default one if we want. And I will say that I want uh, that uh, anyone who is connected to me, I want that I get an IP from the pool, which is uh, over here. So what we need to do now, we have to go to the IP pool. IP pool and take out this 10.60.60.25 so it will not be used. So what we say here to 10.60.60.24 and then I make another one which start by 10.60.60.26 until 10.60.60.254. So 25 it's not taken. All right, so that's what I'm uh, doing here. So 25, we are going to leave it for the PPPoE interface on this Microtech router. The remote is going to go from this pool that uh, I have it. And then I will say here, okay. Very good. Uh, if you want also, you can put the, the DNS. Let's put the DNS. So apply and okay. Now for the secrets means the username and the password. I'm not going to create a username and password on the Microtech router. I'm going to use SAS4. So all I need to do here is normally it's like this. You just say use radius. So we use the radius to make the authentication. And now where you want to configure the uh, uh, PPPoE server over here, we have to say that I want to configure it. So I will give it a name uh, service one. We'll leave it like it is. The interface, it is on the WLAN one which is the wireless. And then I'm going to use the default encryption as the default profile. And that's it. Of course, you can play with the MTU, MRU, and MRRU, but that is out of topic of this uh, subject, so I'm not going to do anything over here. And that's it. So now we have the PPPoE configured on the Microtech router. As you can see, it's uh, fully configured. And now what we need to do is to grab another Microtech router and to try to connect to it on PPPoE using the WLAN. So I have here another Microtech router. Let me open it. So this is a Microtech router that I have it here uh, on um, uh, this floor where I'm sitting now. And at this moment, if you see, it doesn't have internet. So if we just think to a.a.a.8, .a .a .8, you can see no route to host. So it doesn't have internet. So what I need to do now 
first we need to connect to the wireless so i'll go to the wireless i will enable the wlan one and i will go to it and let's scan to find it was called hotspot yeah this one so we are connected to the wireless actually and not uh, so it's we, we we're connecting to the wireless but the wireless uh, the SSID name is hotspot so it can be any other name so here hotspot doesn't mean that we are connecting to the hotspot as uh, authentication we are going to connect to the pppoe as authentication but the name of the wireless is hotspot don't care too much about the name it can be anything so all i need to do is just to say connect and i know that i used n so i'll just put here n and uh, yeah that's it so we don't have any password and then i will say here apply so we should get an r here if it's connected to the wireless here we go so r means running so we are connected to the wireless you can see it's running very good now we need to make the pppoe client actually so we go to the interface and from here i'm going to open an interface create an interface and it is we have to look at the pppoe client this one so you have to select here that the interface that you want to scan for the pppoe is the wlan one that's the first thing two you have to put the username and password which is from the sas okay so remember if we go back to uh, the sas we have test one and uh, with a password one two three four five six i think let's check yes so there is test one with the password one two three four five six and it looks it is active so i'm gonna use that one all right very good so let's go now and you can put username and password directly but it's better that we always make a scan for the pppoe to see if we can see the pppoe on the wireless uh, so the pppoe server so we make scan it should show up for us so here we go it is here service one that is the one very good so you can if you want write it here service one that is the name of the service the username is test one and the password one two three four five six and we add the default route and then i'll say here apply and okay and we can see that the ppoe is connected very good so now if we check what ip address i got i got an ip address of 10.60.60.2 this is the uh, IP from the server, very good. And uh, if we make now ping, we were trying before, it was not having internet, so now we have ping to the internet and it is working. And remember, on the SAS, we put for this one, the bandwidth to be three megabit by three megabit. So meaning now, if I do some bandwidth test, so let's, that's a good idea, go to tools, and uh, uh, I go to the bandwidth test and uh, let's do it to 10.60.60.25 there is the uh, um, the uh, router which is uh, having the PPPoE server on it I want to do test as upload and download to see how much I can get as a bandwidth so here we go you can see 3 megabit 3 megabit so it's exactly as what the SAS4 has told us that you can get that much of bandwidth. And that if we look on uh, the router, which is a PPPoE server, if we go to it, let's go to it. So this is uh, the PPPoE server. And if we go to the queue, we should see over here, that is the queue, that it's showing up that uh, we have this guy test one has three megabit by three megabit because we have configured it on the SAS4. So it's working perfectly without any problem. So this is all what I wanted to show you about how to configure the SAS4 to work with the PPPoE server and PPPoE client. We have seen that it works perfectly. We have touched it and everything is working as it should work. So this is all what I wanted to show you in this lecture. I hope it was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.